Yo! What's up guys? Super, super excited to release this video and film it. So right now we're in the Ghost Palace. If you guys heard of it, that's its nickname. But here, here lies an abandoned hotel. It's 95% finished supposedly they said. And the reason why it's not finished and they abandoned it is because in 2002 terrorist attacks happened. And that's all we know. We asked the locals around and we don't know why they never finished building it. So it's, it's very spooky and the, the people in Bali are really like superstitious so no one ever comes up here and they're really scared about this place. So hey, let's go check it out. We're with the exploring crew, Sawyer, Christian. We are gonna go hard. So this place is massive. And yeah, like I said, I checked online, I looked everywhere and no information on why they stopped making it. Like they were so close to be done. I mean, check out the marble floor. The location of where we are is very secluded. Um, besides the main road that you've seen, we are on top of a mountain. All you see is scenery and, and views and green. It's, it's, it's amazing up here. But yeah, let's keep going. This would have been the main lobby room. I don't exactly know where I'm going. Of course, I'm just exploring. This is definitely great. I'm so excited to be here and just witness this. I mean, just look at this. They're sculptures. I think they're like, I think they're even like dragons or lizards or something. We'll get closer to those after. One thing I want to say is that if we're in the United States, all this would be destroyed by now. Um, there would be graffiti everywhere and vandalism. So that's why when I, I love going to different countries and exploring because they're usually never touched. Another reason I love going to uh, abandoned places in different countries is we get to see different culture art. Like if we're in America, we're not going to see this great art left here. Just this alone is worth so much money. It's real too. Not no plastic crap. I really love how the vines are overly growing. This might just be one of the most favorite places. We've already done Skull Island and that place was a gem. I love the history there. It's not abandoned, but it's very unique. Looks like it could be a typical room on the first floor. We're in some black mold from the water damage. Oh, yes. Look at this. Hello. Sorry guys, I'm super excited right now. Mind me. Let's check the next one out. Yeah, same layout. Um, none of the furniture seems to be here so far, but we'll keep checking. I mean, it is not, it's not finished, uh, but the whole thing is pretty much built. Going downstairs a little bit. Hmm, could have been anything, man, like a restaurant here. Um, you don't know. This is beautiful. And from nothing but peacefulness and quiet here. I'm not sure if someone tipped this over or it's from all the roots growing underneath the ground making it crack, actually naturally lifting this up. It's covered in mud here. Yeah, the floor is covered in like some kind of dirt and mud. And I thought we were stepping on a soft carpet, but we're not. And this room is spiders everywhere. We don't know if they're black widows or not, but there's webs everywhere. And man, you guys know I hate spiders, but. You guys can't see down my lens, but there's a big one right there. And they're just really like taking over this room. Check the architecture in this room. Wow. Holy crap, this is the most greenest area I've ever seen. Look at this. The vines are coming through the door. There was a pool in here. I'm gonna walk over this. I wanna see what the dragon face looks like. And as we come up here, you get to see an exclusive view of the hotel. Yes, the dragon. What's on this side? If you look closely, you can see that the dragon formation statue still goes covered in vines and nature leading up to its head, of course. Let's go get a selfie with him. 
Ching. Or, uh, I don't know. I don't know if there were pools or not, but I think it was just like places with water to make to bring out the statues and art. Yeah, like a terraced fountain. Yeah. I love everything about Southeast Asia's art and structures and how they make their buildings. Like even these freaking roofs are designed. Now we're, now we're coming up to something. Seems like this used to be maybe like a hall. Um, could have been anything uh, like a group event. This is the highest of the highest we can get in this uh, hotel. So, so we, did, we just found the name of this place actually from being in here. There was like this paper on the ground. And the name is... <laughs> it's P. Pedigul Taman Ararisi Hotel. Yeah, I could not pronounce that, so I think Sawyer's got it. Christian says that there's bats in here. Dude, okay. You know, I'm not going in there. I kid you not, I was doing a selfie, I was filming, I was vlogging, I was like, there are bats in there, and then one comes like right by my face, like out of that box hole. That looks scary, it looks like there would be like some dead person in there. Yes. I think this is like a dining hall. Jeez. The floor, everything is so mint. There are bats fighting in there. You can hear them going, going hard too. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yo, there's bats everywhere! Now we're just completely covered in fog everywhere. As if we're in like that movie. Forgot what it's called, but it's like the mist of the fog. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we come across certain places sometimes that are just so, that feel so unrealistic, oh, yeah. yet real. Like this is real life, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel <laughs> like it. Like we're in some movie and yeah, okay. ah, this is what I love. Cool. Alright everyone, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By far one of the coolest, I say this all the time, but it keeps up, every time I say this is my favorite event place, there's always another one that tops it. The architecture here was so good, and if you guys love the slow-mo shots you got of being followed, that was by my good friend Sawyer. Look at his gear, man. He got the sickest shots of me. It was like, it was like watching a movie. I was like, whoa, this is sick. I'm glad you enjoyed. Yeah, so if you like Sawyer, subscribe to him. Um, you guys seen the challenge already. This is my first abandoned thing ever, and I gotta thank Josh for bringing me along, and you guys are really freaking lucky he does this story because this was amazing. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, we take the risk. Um, I love this. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let's keep going until next time.